another video. It's becoming a daily thing. I hope y'all are enjoying it. Um, today I wanted to bring you a couple of names of people that uh, Frank claimed that they took, I say took in quotes, to be their slaves in hell. Two girls that I knew in high school. One was a, a head cheerleader in the JV team, and the other one was her older sister. Uh, we were all there in high school together. Now, she, the, I'm going to give you the names. Uh, uh, her name, the older one's name was Donna Suarez, the younger one was named Patty Suarez. She had a boyfriend on the football team, but since my dad was a chiropractor, she had some problems with her ankle and her knee, and she was always asking me to massage it, and could I pop it for her and all that. Well, I know you, some people won't believe this, but this was in Spanish class, and I spoke good Spanish, better than anybody in the class, including the teacher. But, um, well, she spoke good Spanish, but she had an accent I didn't. Um, she would leave, she would typically leave the class and um, give us an assignment and she would be gone. And our assignment oftentimes would be to just sit there and talk Spanish to each other. Of course, no one would talk Spanish, but sometimes they would work on different things and they would ask me, what does this mean? What does that mean? And I would tell them because I was studying Spanish in Mexico City during the summers, which is how I run into Frank Morris. And that's in my book. Now, um, she uh, was one of these kind of dominatrix type girls, I guess. She was really, really beautiful. Back then, if you weren't pretty, you didn't make it to head cheerleader. Um, the dancer, the head dancerette was really gorgeous. The head cheerleader of both teams. I mean, that's just the way it went. And they always had the biggest guy in the football team for their boyfriend. But anyway, um, she would... <laughs> we'd get to class and as soon as the teacher leaves she would look at me and go make me get down on the floor next to her and massage her her knee her leg her thigh whatever she wanted done that day and of course what was I gonna do except do it <laughs> she was really beautiful and she was real demanding with me and you know I don't know I kind of liked it I guess <laughs> but um Gee, I'm laughing at it, and it's terrible because when Frank went down the list of all of my friends that he took to be his slaves in hell, he named her. He said, remember that girl you used to play with her legs in Spanish class? And I go, yeah, because remember, he, there was no security in schools back then. They didn't have a fence around the schools. There were no cops, no security officers. You could just walk into the school, park in the parking lot, and walk inside if you wanted to, and if no one noticed you and you looked you know like a, a student or a um or a teacher they would just let you do whatever you wanted and frank and the anglers would dress as janitors and they would cruise the they would troll the school until they found me and they found me in my different classes and uh they got really angry about this girl but they never could catch her alone she was always with her boyfriend and her friends and that kind of thing but when he went down the list in mexico city you know I'm, he was trying so hard to get through to me that he had beat me at all these by taking all of my friends and everything and girls that i knew and uh i i was i mean i was shutting it out and he knew i was he even told me once he said you're shutting it out and he he would uh, you know keep telling me and he told me he said you remember that girl who used to play with her leg and yeah the cheerleader remember her yeah well we got her too and I go Patty and he goes whatever you call her he goes and she came with a bonus and I go what and he goes her sister came along so evidently he captured both of them now I just did some research with the um, you know, people at King High School there in Tampa that because that, they're having a reunion this month and no one can find either one of them and no one can get any information on them so you know if anybody out there has any information I, I hope one of them sends me a, 
a comment and says, yeah, I'm still alive. He lied to you. That would be nice, but, you know, all my life I've never heard from these two girls ever again. Um, tomorrow, I may tell you, well, maybe I'll just tell you today. There was another girl that sat behind me in English class who really liked me. And she was kind of a loner type girl, and she really wanted me to come over to her house and I wanted to go, but she would always invite me at night, and my parents wouldn't let me leave the house at night. And, uh, you know, she would call me when she was at home, and she wanted to have a party, and I was the only person she was going to invite, and a lot of different things like that. And, you know, one day she calls me up, and she said, there's some guys outside my house, and I'm scared. Like, I didn't even know where she lived, so she would have had to explain all that to me. Uh, you know, and we, she kind of wrote it off, and I think she called me twice and told me that. And then after that, she didn't show up at school anymore. Unfortunately, I don't remember her name. But these guys trolled me all the way through junior high school and high school, making people disappear. I hope, I hope that helps. Maybe somebody knows these girls and they can tell me, no, they're still alive. It'd be, it'd be wonderful if I could hear that. But don't lie about it, okay? <laughs> you guys have a good day.